back, baby. Standing next to Chase and Parquet. What's going on? Man, what's going on? What's playing? Well, I'm good. I'm good. Look, first question I got for y'all is What track did you produce in Bum J's? What tracks? Oh, man. Uh, the, 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 the top uh, track of the streets. Well, I'm going to start off first since I got my bro right there. You know what I'm saying? Because if it really went for bro, the whole city wouldn't even be known when Chase Davis is. You know, bro brought me in with this GS shit. You know, he. Um, did the Project Housing record. He really want to drop them and it was just a street banger real quick. Then I did the, um, the stuff New Niggas. Uh, no New Niggas for uh, Bump J. You know, I did that record. And then um, the uh, Lullaby song for his kids on the um, dinner time album, I think it was like track 16 or something like that. So, you know, did a couple of records with Big Bro. You know, yeah, definitely did that. Yeah, New, niggas, though. New Niggas was an anthem through the city, though, back in 08, 09. You know what I'm saying? Do you got any unreleased tracks of Bump J's? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a, uh, a couple unreleased, tra unreleased tracks with Bump. And then Bump. Uh, the, uh, the Hustler. Yeah. With the, with the Cassidy hook on it. Oh, yeah. yeah that's you know what I'm saying? Crazy. That's yeah, the one. That's one of the ones we got unreleased. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really, like, back to Project House, and that's an unreleased record. You know what I'm saying? It was just flowing around through the guys. You know what I'm saying? You had to be exclusive to have that. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of, yeah, that was epic. I had just came home, and Bump was telling me, let's do this mixtape with Jesus. He was trying to get me in tune with Jesus so we could do this mixtape. And then uh, Cap One was telling me, like, man, you know, we need to do something. We need to do something fresh. So I was trying to put them together. They really want to see it eye to eye. So it was really, you know what I mean? Really nothing that can get them guys to see eye to eye. But, you know, I got to work and doing records, and it was like, shit, I do a record with Cap playing for Bump. You know what I mean? I talk him into getting on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then I play some bump, uh, you know what I mean? The record from Bump and Cap just wanted to get on it anyway. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna knock it out. You know, and so we just work, we worked it out like that. It just went back and forth. Uh, Cap, Cap had Drummer Boy. All oh, like, man, we had all the hitters on our shit before. Niggas even got famous, man. Or niggas even started charging whenever they charged the beats, man. We did that shit. You know what I'm saying? We were fucking with all the hitters. It wasn't nothing we couldn't get. That was an epic CD for the city, man, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know about that, I'm putting a, um, a major press on it, re-release that shit, you know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. motherfuckers can hear it, you know what I'm saying? Because the shorties, they y'all don't know what's going on out here, man. We've been doing this shit. I was the only yeah. unsigned artist who did a uh, mixtape with a Motown artist and then an Atlantic Records artist. Like, both of them had major deals at the time. And I was just coming home, and you know what I mean? Shit, we told them off from the streets, so that's what we did. Oh. Mm -hmm. Everything for the city too. Yeah. So you got some music out here that the streets ain't heard with Bump? Oh man, I got 15, 16 records, like probably even more than that with Bump. Yeah, you know what I mean? But I don't follow suit what everybody do. Drop records, drop records, and try to have niggas do verses. Man, I got yeah. records out here. Yeah, I got the official thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, whenever, whenever shit, you know what I mean? I cherish them records. I put them records where they belong. You know what I mean? I hold on. Something. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, uh, whenever it's time for the streets to get him, man, get him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. might get him right before he come home, home, home. <laughs> Good. So, uh, y'all mind telling us a story when y'all was hanging with Buck? Any story. <laughs> oh, any story. A crazy story. I remember some shit happening, right? And the motherfucker invited us out, like, to, um, to go get some tattoos and shit. 
And ah oh, man, I was going to a big ass 50 shot mat. <laughs> the clip hanging down my shit uh, across the thing. And we ain't know what the fuck these guys was on. It was me, Mr. Green, uh, Bump, and some motherfucker. I don't know. We went way out. We went and got tattoos and shit, but they took us in the middle of nowhere. We thought these motherfuckers crazy Latinos was about to fuck us up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because some shit happened and we was just really just, you know what I mean, getting cool, but we thought they were still trying to snake us. But, you know what I mean? We were prepared, man. It was a, you know, it was a long night. You know what I mean? It was one of them things, though. Uh, they took us in the building, talked some shit. Uh, they had motherfucking saws and plastic and wood and all that shit laying around that bitch. We ain't know what was going on. We got the fuck up out that jail. <laughs> <laughs> you got a story you want to share with us, Jason? No, man, I ain't going you know, to share too much. I'm going to keep it quiet. I'm just going to chill, lay back. You know? right. So um, what, was, uh, what was one of Bump's biggest hits to y'all? What was one of his favorite songs? Y'all favorite songs of his? I mean, shit, the favorites really didn't make it that big. But, uh, you know, Move Around was a dope-ass record, and, you know what I mean? It got a lot of national play, so, you know what I mean? He had shit with Rick James, you know, and motherfucker had some dope-ass shit, man, you know what I mean? But the the shit I think that was, like, super, super big, that it, it ain't make it national, you know what I'm saying? It ain't get a chance, but, you know what I mean? History do repeat itself. So how y'all feel when y'all like walking to a party, y'all at a party chilling and y'all hear Bum J come on? That's oh man, you know they shout that shit out. They shout that shit out, man, and they find this crowd. They, you know, first they find a few niggas who fuck with them in that bitch, shout them out, shout them out. And then they play that shit and they get niggas to, you know what I mean, go crazy. That shit be tight. Knowing the struggle where Bum J came from, like, do you got anything you want to say to the young entertainers out here? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say something, mm -hmm. man. Look, don't try to be shorty if you ain't shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to build your shit off what oh, GS yeah, did. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hear niggas talking to the great band saying they gon' we gonna do what Goon Squad did. If it ain't in you, man, don't even be on that shit, man. Make your music, man. Cause this shit that was going on was way more than music. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a unite. It was uni unity, man. It, this man was the only man I knew that could have SDs, Latin Kings. Vice Lords, Foles, Breeze, BDs, Blackstones, all type of gangs in one room with each other and no action kick off. You know what I'm saying? It was all general love, doing music and turning up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Charlie was about unity, man. You ain't really about unity, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't follow after his footsteps, thinking it's something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's how the movement even got big. You know what I mean? We won. Most of us wasn't against no different games. We were just really all together. And he was about, you know what I mean, moving a certain way and, 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 and going to the top, man. It's just it's just what kind of movement it was. But I can't tell Shorty them not to be Shorty them, you know what I mean? We was wild as fuck at one time, too. So, you know what I mean? They got to live and learn, you know what I mean? They'll learn once they get 20 some or do 30 and they figure out we can't catch no more cases, we can't ride around with no more bangers and shit, you know. They figure it out once they catch so many cases. But, uh, you know what I mean? They open they open the window and the doors back up and got, you know what I mean, the radar on Chicago again, you know what I'm saying? I salute them little niggas for that. I ride with them little niggas for that. Uh, but, um, Shit, I can't tell them niggas not to be violent. I can't tell them niggas not to do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Chicago, Chicago. I don't know what them, how them niggas was raised. The niggas was raised just like we was raised, brother. You know what I mean? But it just take a nigga to live and learn. They ain't get that shit together. Yeah, shit, man. So what's going on with Goon Squad today, though? Uh, uh, I just dropped a project called Cushion Caviar, man. Um, that shit kind of heating up the streets right now. They just paving the way for Brain to drop his shit, for Sly to drop, for uh, for Bump to come home too. We just, you know what I mean, trying to make as much noise as getting close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was really letting y'all know that we know we out here really working. You know what I'm saying? Doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Cause your caveat really doing numbers right now. So um, good luck for the city, um, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's holding Bump down too. You know what I'm saying? Mom definitely want us to be doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Why he ain't here right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely motivation for him and us to know that he's pushing us there. You know what I'm saying? Drips. Drips. Oh, I thought you saw him. I thought you saw him like right bump or something. Oh, nah, 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 nah. That's the way I brush my way down. That's the way I brush my way down. That's the way I brush my way down. 
Y'all want to leave the bills for the way? Y'all want to leave the bills for the way to reach y'all? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Y'all can catch me at ParkBB2 on Instagram and at ParkBB on Twitter. And uh, you know the same shit on um, Facebook too. Backslash ParkBB. Yeah, for uh, my Instagram is uh, Chase Davis Beats with a Z and uh, Chase Davis Music. M U Z I K on Twitter. So hit me up. Y'all need the beats out there. Come fuck with me. I'm turning up right now, man. Just did the intro on um, Lil Bro shit, Lil Dirk shit. Uh, traumatized, man. Signed to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to OTF family. You know what I'm saying? Hella band shit. You know, and I got the little mouth shit dropping soon. MT2, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Michael Mice Mice, man. So fuck with me. Yeah.